Fissy, I, 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 if I was you, I would just tell Kyler, I, you don't want to live in a state that is so filled with fucking racist, man. Like, being black and living in Oklahoma, living in the South, living in so much of that fucking type of, like, fuck that, man. Fuck that. I'm Ky Kyler might have to make some choices, man. I'm sorry. I'm glad he lives, wants to live close to family, but, like, Oklahoma's not good for, like, people that aren't white Catholics or white Christians, I should say. The other day I was hanging out with a friend at their house and had to use their bathroom but they didn't mention their bathroom was haunted and when I used the toilet a ghost came in my ass and now the ass ghost keeps trying to talk out of my butt a woo. <laughs> so yeah, I love you. Thank you so much for the donation, dear. That's good. Cause fuck man, I, dude, there are, we, there's a real culture war going on, man. And it's, and the crazy people are trying to fucking take over this country and the stupid people that AKA the democratic party is going, uh, you mean we should, we should stop them from taking over the country? Yeah, I would think so guys. Oh, there's one for 793,000, actually. Let's go buy that real quick. That's five. Okay. Let's go buy that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fucking... It's lovely, Pug. Okay. Let's go get this theater place. I want to buy this disco, but the disco costs 128 billion yen. And I don't have 128 billion yen. Fine, I'll beat you guys up now. It wasn't... Out of line, a Molder. Out of line, Molder. Papa Jedi, welcome back to the Emperor Rod. Thank you for the continued support. We have a Twitch baby. Papa, it's your responsibility. I ain't dealing with that shit. You have to name it and feed it and poop it. Love you. Welcome back to the Emperor Rod. Oh, hell yes, How you doing, buddy? Thank you so much for the continued support. I appreciate you, man. How is the, how are you and the Mrs. Jedi doing today? I hope you're all, both doing wonderfully. I can barely take care of myself, let alone a child. Oh, nice! How old's the little one? I feel like I know this, or I knew this at one point in time. I don't know if I remember. Aw, that's so cute, man. Toasty, Toasty Raccoon's uh, little one's 4'2", and is fucking cute as shit, man. That's such a cute age. It's like, they're like becoming humans. Yeah, man, I don't know. I don't, like, it's fucking amazing, like, if you, like, as you get older, how time becomes, it, the, the thing with time that you don't know or don't understand when you're a kid, especially, is like, it's, it, it's relative, right? So, like, the, the, the older you get, everything is relative to that, and so, like, yeah. So it's like, 
time keeps feeling shorter because of your experience with time. It's so weird, man. Oh, so that means that means the little one's also in a weird age, right? So like the going to school is gonna be an interesting thing because of Oh. <laughs> man, it's so funny, Papa. And that's the kind of shit where you're like, as you grow up and you're like, fuck, man. My, see, my dad and I, one of the reasons I went to college where I went was like, my dad and I both have that same kind of, like, we both have tempers and we both have, like, we always, like, clashed a lot because we're too similar in a lot of ways. It's... Yeah, well, that, that thing is too, with his age, because, okay, so I was born in August. Like, when you're born in the summer, it it's it puts that weird time frame on how, uh, when you, uh, five are going to? Yeah. It, that, like, when you actually start school, right? Oh, I mean, I know that, Dissy. So it is. The one and only Pug Ugly. The fuck is it? Oh, it's on this next street. Okay. The one and only Pug Ugly. So much money, man. Ah. Yeah. That's cool stuff. The other one I would also highly advise to check out is Ultra Pro. The standard for save storage. Ultra Pro has a wide variety of products. Pug! I mean, Astros, you have like ad reads on as a fucking. <laughs> on the go or at home and playing with your friends. Please check out Ultra Pro for all that amazing products. Why did somebody clip you, you uh, shilling a product, Astros, even though I agree? Thank you, Bissy. We did a shout out earlier, I thought. Did I? I don't fucking know if I did. If I didn't, I should have. <laughs> Bissy, shout yourself out now, Bissy. Now, Bissy. Now, Bissy. Shout yourself out, Bissy. Shout yourself out. Come on, Bissy. Come on. Bissy, shout yourself out. Come on, Bissy. Vizzy, I owe you a subscription when you stream next, so... Vizzy gets the cool- does the cool shit with her hair. <laughs> Vizzy, you look so tired in that clip! Oh dear. Mulder, the stupid things you say sometimes, I don't even know how to respond to. <laughs> Mulder, perms are not a thing for for uh, anymore. Damn it, pug. Damn it, pug. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't heard about someone. Yeah. I'm just giving you shit, Mulder. Yeah, my, my wife straightens her hair constantly, and her hair is not like obviously 
Vissy curly, but it's pretty curly. You fucking grab the guy like I fucking keep telling you to do? Why are you yelling, damn it, Zoe? Oh, did Zoe give me a sub? I don't even know what you're asking how come to, Mulder. I just was reminding myself I owed Vissy a sub. I wasn't asking you, you overly sweet assholes to give me one. Ah. In order to get the Ascos to stop talking, I had to call a priest in order to exercise my ass, and the priest daddy had to use special tools deep in my pudding butt and holy water loop to inject me with Jesus C to cleanse my pudding butt a wound. <laughs> Did you just say holy water lube? Because that's fucking amazing, Zoe, and I love you. That's why one of the best things about Colorado is like my hair just dries. Man. I shaved the sides of my head, uh, the sides of my hair are way shorter than the like the top of my head because I was shaving my sides and keeping the top long, and then fucking COVID happened, and I had I stopped being able to shave my hair head, uh, the sides of my head as well. So I just kind of let it grow out, and now it's yeah. Beefy, you're such a you're such a a beautiful bastard, and I love you. Uh, I think perms are. They also damage your hair, I think. My mom used to get perms when I was growing up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's All that shit's so fucking, like, scary, Vissy. Yeah, that's what I thought, Vissy. It's just like bleaching your hair. You're damaging your hair. Who's Danny? Oh, I don't know who that is. I can't see from there. Oh, damn. Vissy, I like your hair. I mean, you just, you do cool shit with it and you get to do like whatever. Man, it's like, it's one of those things where I think people just like, it's, you're always m less comfortable with that stuff. It feels like and a lot of times you are than like everyone else is, right? I think people just, I mean, the people that care about you just want you to be like happy with that kind of stuff, right? I don't know. Dude. Zeke grows hair so fast, it's amazing. I'm like, how do you grow your hair that fast, man? They don't like you going natural, Vissy? Man, family. Okay. 
man. But like, also, a silly, silly white people don't understand all the work you have to go through to keep your hair like this. You like, like even if you explain it to us, like we don't, if we're not living it, you know. Like, like, black people have, like, have different, like, like, oils in their hair and stuff. They have to mean, like, yeah. That you, you have to, like, keep your hair all, like. That's why, like, there's, like, different hair products for, like, for, uh, black people compared to, like, white people in Mulder. Not, but it's, you put, yeah, that's what I, that's what I was trying to say, Vissy, yeah. That you have to. The oils were stuff you have to put in and stuff like that. I was trying to say, if I fucked it up, I'm sorry. Greg! What's up, buddy? Trying to finish up this fuck, this last real estate thing, man. Driving me crazy. Yeah, and, and that's, but like, I will always admit I'm not a f informed, Vissy, like, and I'm always, like, uh, willing to ask questions and learn, you know? I'm always willing to, especially growing up with only, like, really fucking being. I had like my friend, my friend Brad Armstrong was like my one black friend growing up, because like there weren't. I lived in an area that wasn't. There was it was pretty white, you know. And then he, Brad ended up like was one of like the only kids that didn't like to go to the other school when we went to high school. I love you, Vessi. Like. I know, like, it's like being a part of my my community that's getting more diverse and all that stuff. It's like trying to learn stuff all the time, all the time, you know. You have Spanish air product with garlic and paprika. That's just cooking, uh, uh, Saga. And I know you meant hair product, but I had to give you shit because it was so easy. God damn it. Yep, you just forgot the H. That's why I said it like that, Asaga. I was like, I got, I can't like resist giving you shit over that. What the fuck? Yeah, it's only on the Epic Game Store, a saga. But yep, it came out today. So KPP and I are doing a co-stream two weeks from today. And uh, we're talking about playing that. But it's got to be like... Neither one of us plays tons of multiplayer, so I don't know if we're going to do it. Yes, have you bought it and tried it out yet? Which is weird, Vissy, because you would think it wouldn't be because it's curled up and you would have to, but yeah, it's interesting. Nice. 
So I, I'm wondering how much like. It seems like you. It, I wonder if you're gonna be able to be as annoying as you are in like, fucking Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight. That's why I don't play that game. The the killer stuff and I, people are such trolls in that game. And I feel like yeah, I'm not in for it. Man, everyone's seeing that poster uh, Josh made for uh, for uh, Katie Peters, and it's loving it. It looks fun to me, but again, you go back to multiplayer, man. Like, I like the co-op. Like, I wish it was not... You could just play co-op with no, like, competitive multiplayer. Yeah, I wish you could... I wish you... That game would be so... Ah! It's KPP! It's KPP. It's basically Ooh. Dead by Daylight mixed with uh with uh left for dead oh wait oh wait what look at what 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 morning katie what? also <gasps> anonymous can what is that when someone gifted a thousand dollars to uh oh my god can we just go oh, what the f Go out morning rod less than three less than three. Thank you so much, KPP, for the continuous support. Welcome back to the Empire Red. Oh, yeah, Gizmo. God, I was just looking at my Twitter uh, real quick, Katie, and the uh, Josh's poster has been getting a lot of retweets, man. He he made that look so cool. Yeah, I don't know. It, Katie, it might not be the one we play. We'll keep talking about it with each other. Like, I... I just get so angry at people because I have a fucking problem in competitive games. Yeah, he's... Josh is so fucking talented, man. And I love that man, Death. A, a lot of people are trying out Murder Boost for the first time because it's not... Because it's Doctor Strange and it makes me happy. Yeah, me too, Katie. I've been playing so many open world games, it's like, I just need a... I'm just trying to finish up this real estate segment of this and I'm done, to, ready to beat this game too. It's, it looks like more people are listening to it. I don't, so we, we're spreading out a lot more, Katie. We're like, with the YouTube, being video formats now like more people are watching it on youtube and also we've been doing weird movies so i don't know i think it's doing well i don't fucking know though berserker rage listened to it and was i was making comments in the discord uh last night and i i it was it made me laugh because i made uh i made uh references to mean girls katie so man i love it it's just like I, man, I almost, like, like, think we could put out more episodes about other types of movies. I've watched all the, all the Marvel movies, Berserker, so, yeah. Okay. Seventy. One thirty-seven. Can I get, is there another one I could buy in that price range? No. We need, a. Uh, we need to get paid one more time. I think this is all S's now, right? Yep. Okay. Missy, if you want to come be on, a, on Murder Moose, you're more than fucking welcome. You'd have to pick a movie, though, Vissy. Or you just we could assign one. Vissy, if you want to come talk on the podcast, we will do it. Ask KPP. It's it's fun as shit. Nothing like DBD. Yeah, it's that combination of DBD and uh, Army of uh, Evil or Left for Dead. Right, that's what it keeps getting compared to. 
Uh. Get your hand your butt, dude. Stop flinging poo at me. <laughs> I will never not like that clip. Thank you so much for the biddies, friend. Uh. That's from Sekiro, Katie. Sekiro. There are clips of me screaming like a lunatic for that game, man. Vissy, if you're going to come on the podcast and talk about a movie, what would it be? Because let's talk. What, do you, what movie would you want to talk about? We haven't picked a movie for next week, though. Katie, are you, uh, you're gonna fit, you're finishing up Alien Isolation today, right? You said you're streaming a little bit later than normal. I'm watching, I'm watching fucking, uh, I'm on another pod, a, a podcast on the network next week, or recording for, uh, on Sunday, we're recording for them. I don't think it comes out till next month, but, uh, and we're talking about a crazy Japanese movie, so. Well, we'll talk about it then, Dissy. And Dissy, you know you're welcome on the podcast. Oh, Katie, so I work every other Friday, and it's, it, the Fridays I have to work, I am just miserable. Miserable. We're um I'm off through Tuesday though, because we're doing uh me and uh my wife and Drewyo and his fiance and Katie and uh CK and uh Zeke are doing uh Meow Wolf on Monday. Yeah, I dude, I was so miserable yesterday, I can't even tell you. P synesthesia is now following. I don't have any idea how to pronounce that name. I really don't. <gasps> yeah, they have one. In, they opened one in Denver in uh, like October, or September, Katie. And I've been looking to go and finally got an excuse to go. Yeah, but the voice reading it. Thank you for that follow, though. The voice reading it isn't always accurate. Minty pussy? What the fuck? <laughs> Synthesia. Okay. Well, welcome to the Empire Rod, friend. All hail Gizmo. I also... Yeah. Look how purple this guy's pants are. Synthesis. I can't... Oh, okay. No, I missed that part. See, the problem with that... Uh, Katie knows this. Katie's streams are like when I'm doing a uh, uh, murder moose on Tuesday, so I don't always get to hang out in her streams. Unfortunately, it makes me sad. Really, none of these are ready. Fuck. Captain, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Captain's making some uh, highlight videos for me for YouTube, so I'm fucking stoked because he can edit the shit out of stuff and. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I, I I assume as much. I also I can't. I, that's yeah. They, they said you have to be careful with the too many Katies around. Yep. <laughs> Katie, both Katies raided me. Or no, CK raided me one day, and KPP was already in my chat, and it was yeah. Oh man. How much is uh is the St. Jude stuff through is it all through May, Katie? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Synth, I'm just gonna probably call you Synth and probably fuck up your name more than once because I am me and reading is hard apparently, but thanks for hanging out. Thanks for that follow. Oh, yeah, I missed a bunch of Katie stream yesterday because of work. Oh yes, yes, you're right. You get yep. Man, this is this is the the problem with being me. I say shit all the time and then immediately forget that I said it. That's it's the ADHD in me, man. Like I'm thinking about the next thing to say as whatever is coming out of my mouth, you know. Yeah. Well, thank you for following. We're finishing up Yakuza Zero. We're kind of doing the boring part right now with the uh, trying to finish up this real estate business mini game. But yeah, Nocturne is so good. Except I got into the 30s, got really sad, and never finished it. <laughs> Even though it's really good and worth finishing. <laughs> Man, I love Nocturne. It was how I fell in love with, like, Katie's stream and, like, like I, Zeke's stream. I wasn't even hanging out in Zeke's stream before I started watching it. So, yeah, Nocturne, like, and Dan and fucking, uh, fucking Classy Pax. I call Nocturne Classy Pax Makes You Cry. Dude, I can't... I can't, I got to the, I, a couple times during, uh, during, uh, uh, COVID, I watched three in a day. So let me tell you, watching three Nocturnes in a day is not a good idea. You will get, you will hit the feels, man. I don't, yeah, oh, the sads are real, real, Katie. <laughs> You know, this, you know why K, uh, uh, CK stopped watching it, right? Because she couldn't watch it anymore because of Millie being in the background. Millie's in the background in almost every episode of that show. Yeah, we were watching them last year, like, on Fridays. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we could go buy another place finally. No. Cla classy, you watch that show and then someone tells you that was Classy Pax's first role playing, and you go, What? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, everyone on the show is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yup. This should be enough, right? I mean, losing, yeah, dude, Katie, when newbie goes, and newbie's gonna go in the next year or so, I, I have a hard time, and I'm just like, it's going to be, Rod is a disaster for extended periods of time, and I'm not gonna know what to do about it, and I'm gonna be a fucking mess, and it's going to be, just the fucking worst. And, yep. I am horrified. Yeah, I mean, Katie, it's... I I love pets more than I love most people in the world. <laughs> okay, I almost had enough to buy this one property. God damn it. Let's buy this hotel blue light next, then. Okay. Oh no, Katie, you were fine. I you're more than willing to man, I I love animals. I I laugh about it and I talk about it all the time. Like 
I love pet animals more than I love people most of the time. And like, I've been, an, I've had dogs my entire life. And it's just like, it's one of the reasons why we don't have ferrets anymore because I love my ferrets and those, th they will die out of nowhere. And I just, I would be crying like a baby for days, you know? And it's just like, man, it's hard, but it's like, it's worth it. Don't get me wrong. Like, and like, me having get uh, a Loki tattooed on my side, I'm like it. Uh, it's one of those things where you just go, man. The the sadness is real, but man, like they bring you so much joy, you know. Yeah, yeah, Katie, I completely understand. I completely understand. Like, it's. So I, don't, Katie, I don't know if you I've ever actually told you this, or you've been around when I talked about it. So I talk about how, um, three, okay, how, uh, my wife is, I think my wife is kind of like, and she's admitted to this herself, so I'm not like calling her out here. Like the, uh, pets have kind of become a substitute for like us not being, uh, being able to have children, right? And so, yeah. What is this guy fucking wearing? Yep. And my my wife has had that, I mean, that thing where, like, a lot of women have it where it's like, you, like, really want children and then when you can't, it's just, like, fucking heartbreaking, right? So... How do I buy this place? Okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's the thing it is, man, but I got to the point where, oh, thanks, friend. I had so much fun doing it. We're talking about... Katie and I have um, started talking a little bit about me going over there to do a uh, a makeup stream in the near future because people wanted her to do my makeup makeup on me. She lives like a half an hour north of me, so it's whenever she's up to it again, I'm more than gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it sometime in the near future when when Katie's up to it. CK is a, a wonderful human being, and I I, uh, I love her to death. Robo! Robo! Thank you for that sub! My buddy. Happy Friday, you beautiful bastard. Thank you so much for that sub, my friend. You beautiful man, you. Welcome back to Ever Run! I have this out! We gotta get pull off the on here pretty soon. I need a fucking, uh... Robo, how you doing, buddy? Okay, so we got that. Let's get healed a little bit. Okay. It's also... Yeah, that's what... I, dude, I'm so excited for you. I don't go back to work till Tuesday. I have today off and then... uh. I'm taking Monday off from Meow Wolf, so. Man, I keep telling people I have uh, I have way too much vacation because I, I'm one of those people who hoards vacation. I don't, does anyone else ever feel like, oh, I don't deserve vacation or something like that? Like, or I don't have like, I don't deserve to take time off or I'm too busy to take, I like, I don't know. It's that weird, like. Yeah, a whole man, Robo. I hope you have a fucking awesome week of being uh, doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, basically, right? It's the you are uh, you. <laughs> you don't make money if you're not working, even though you are making money because you're vacation, right? So I don't know. I I haven't had any fucking issues in a long time with any of my bosses caring about me taking time off, but like. 
it's all in with me it's in my head i think i'm just like it's like if i'm not gonna do anything why would i take time off you know what i mean yep yeah i'm like this so what happens with me is like i'm like if i'm not gonna do anything i'm gonna just be around like lazy then yeah there's no point even though it, there is pto baby nice yeah i have so much vacation saved up right now i literally so next not next month july i hit 15 years with, with uh lockheed so we did it we taken over 30 percent of the media king's area <laughs> Great. Yeah, great. The Media King is th that shady wannabe foreigner guy, right? Now there's only one of the five billionaires left. If we can take over his area, we can get Kamarucho back. <laughs> <laughs> right, please take him down quickly. <laughs> Easier said than done. Despite appearances, the Media King has the most power and money out of all the five billionaires. He's not going to be a pushover. No kidding, it's true. The Media King used to be a famous dancer, then later founded a talent agency to groom actors, singers, and idols for all forms of entertainment media. He used the money from the company to operate discos and basically became a billionaire in the process. Based on his background and the fact that he was a dancer himself, he's also known as the Disco King in the streets. Oh, God. Hmm. The Disco King, huh? Hmm. He doesn't sound all that bad for the description. Actually, he sounds like a pretty good businessman. That's true, but he's still one of the five billionaires. He's probably up to no good beside, behind the scenes, right? Yeah. Right. He only looks good on the surface. He's said to be a completely different person underneath. He pimps up and coming scar starlets to rich men, and the awful rumors don't stop there. No surprise there, I guess. The media, that media king, what an awful man. Wow, I'm hurt. Do you have to talk behind my back like that? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Is, he's sitting in our office? Wait, what? Money. Oh, Robo, yep. Yeah, you're the media. Yeah. That's another reason I, do, I, I always hate taking time off. Like, I have to fucking then do whatever I missed. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like to be called by that. Please call me the Disco King. Oh, God. He's going to make us disco dance with him for that fucking thing. And then what's your business here, Meaty King? Oh, Mr. Kiru. You really don't listen, do you? Well, fine. The true reason I came here. He's going to challenge us to a fucking... I really don't have... <laughs> he's wearing this goth eye makeup. <laughs> Haha, ha, no reaction. Too cool for school? Muy bien, I like it. What's my true weakness, Greg? I wanted to see what you were like. So I swung by for a couple beats, that's all. Naked people? But, you know, I feel better now. Huh? You feel better? Ah. Yeah, yeah, because all of you are a joke. The Leisure King, the Electronics King, the Pleasure King, and the Gambling King, since you defeated all of them, I assumed you'd be more impressive. Ah. But instead, all I see are idiots and pushovers. I can't, for the life of me, figure out how these guys lost to you, chumps. Uh? Are you here to pick a fight? No. no. I'm like the Gambling King. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Let's be cool about this and have fun. Yeah, he kind of does, Beefy. I have an idea. As a gesture of friendship, why don't you come to my next dance party? We'll have fun dancing all night and get to know each other better. I'd rather dance with the devil than you. <laughs> Yeah, yes. Ha ha. And it's only 40 bucks, which is nice. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Lo siento. So regular invite isn't enough? Well, that's okay, amigos. I'll think of something. By the by, the by you'll find I'm a little different from the other billionaires. Don't think for a moment you'll be able to get Kamarucho back so easily. Well, then, you'll be hearing from me later. Hasta la vista, Mr. Kiru. <laughs> Well, what's up with that guy? I don't know, but he manages to slither in here and notice. He looks lightweight, but he's a real snake in the grass. At any rate, if we defeat him, that'll be the end of the five billionaires. So let's uh. continue. Yeah. What are you up to, Meaty King? Yeah. I mean, no one can spell here, Katie. It's like... Spelling is my kryptonite. But we don't need to... That's the problem, right? We don't need to know how to spell. <laughs> this is all S's. Yeah, okay. I mean... I auto type with my with my fingers on like where I swipe on my phone keyboards, and I'm always like, 
I'm so in a rush to get ideas out that I don't ever make sure that what I'm typing is accurate. So I, I put a lot of shit in the chat. A lot of chats. That's everything. So we're almost ready to buy another building, but it's just like buying one at a time. There's a band that has a song called Gramercy Park, and that's all I could think of. They were like generic orgy. I saw them open up for Taproot back in the day, if you remember Taproot. I mean, guessing... I I keep myself guessing. I don't know what the half the shit I'm saying half the time. Like, people... I don't know how often you do this, Katie, but I will say something, and then five... Like, Two seconds later, someone in chat will reference what I just said, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, I keep myself guessing all the time. I mean, come on. Oh, I thought I saw a shiny back here. Oh, God. Yep. That was Monday and Tuesday for me, Bissy. Wednesday picked up, and I was busier, but... Yeah, if I'm not busy, I fucking hate it more than being busy, and it's not even close. I try to grab him, and he's... God damn it. Why don't I just shove the pole up his butt? I mean, that would do it, right? That would finish him off. You'd have to hope, but... I hear the cabaret music, and it makes me sad because I miss the cabaret. Best part of the game. Cabaret. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Okay. Is this last place on yet? Yes, thank you. Still only owe thirty two percent of this asshole's fucking uh zone this close to being able to buy a new building and I can't. I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! I need more money! Let's go over here and see if there's anything I haven't bought in this restaurant so I can maybe get some more CP points. I don't fucking know, man. Just trying to get this fucking real estate bullshit finished. Yeah, cool. How much stuff is coming back 
When, yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I already bought everything at Smile Burger. So what's down here? Side, the problem with that is I can't fucking dance in this game worth a shit. The last time I did a dance, I disco, it's been ugly. Ugly. So when we get into a dance battle with the Disco King, it's gonna be fucking terrible. Okay, we got everything here. Okay. Oh yeah, you you go to the disco and I am it's so good. The problem okay, I have a couple problems with this game. And one, the, my biggest problem is no English. I I understand people prefer playing in Japanese, but streaming in Japanese is so much harder than streaming in English. Because like I have to read it and people can't just listen. They have to, you know. They have to like yeah. And these games are long. Which is another problem, right? And so it's like I've been playing really long games Like almost every game I've been playing the last few months And it's just like Actually this has been Since Red Dead 2 I the only I played like one game that wasn't a Like multiple week game I played uh, Frambo And that was about all that wasn't multiple weeks So Yeah, it's weird. You don't things you don't like realize about like streaming with like like Japanese games, right? That's like yeah. So, and I don't I don't play many games outside of streaming. So, nine sixty. Can I buy another one? I might be able to buy that one. Okay. Let me go try to buy that. Six. Okay. Yeah, it's like 921, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And so, I play some Magic the Gathering Arena. That's about all these days. Like, yeah. That's about all these days. I don't play because this is my game time. Like this is when I play games when I'm streaming. Yeah, I play I play a decent amount. I used to play a lot of Commander, and then I got I kind of got tired of it. Mostly because I was playing with a bunch of tryhards, but like yeah. Yeah, I uh. I used to, so I was a, oh, that's fun, yeah, so, my problem with, uh, that I've been a card game player for a long time, like, I played a little bit as a kid, but, like, as a adult, like, I real into Hearthstone, and that's how I kind of got into creating content, so. I, I know a lot of people who really like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, though. Yu-Gi-Oh was after my time. Like, I'm 38, but when Yu-Gi-Oh came out, I was, like, way older. And so, yeah, I missed that thing. But, yeah, I, I, I'm glad people enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, I play. I stopped in 2020. Is when I stopped playing Hearthstone, so. But now it's owned by what? By Microsoft, so. See how that makes things happen, uh, change. 
Oh no, Bissy, what now? Oh, 2020? Is that what you meant, Bissy? Yeah, that's why I, I, yeah. I mean, finding out you have a brain tumor is never a, like, a good moment in time, right? So. But you did meet a lot of cool people, Bissy, so that's awesome. I want to go down further. It's like here. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You went through. A, you had a uh, a hell of a 2020 and a and a pandemic, Vizzy. <gasps> Nine hundred and twenty one billion yen. But you came out a strong, a kick ass, even more kick ass person, Dissy. So that's all that really matters. That's all that really matters. Yeah, that's a uh, man. It's like the 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 letters you write to that that radio station in this game. You're like, yo, you wanna you wanna talk about a year? Here you go. You know. I've only watched like a couple of Philly uh, Philly DeFranco videos. He seems like he knows what he's doing. I mean, the guy is talented. It seems like I I know Katie like uh, PK is a big fan. Yeah. It's so sad though, it's like you have to find those news sources that do that because the mainstream media doesn't. It's why so much of the downfall of this country has to be tied to fucking uh, things like Facebook and, and news networks, man. Because they sensationalize stuff to the point that it just makes everything so much worse. Fox News, CNN, all that stuff is just like... Just so bad for us. So, yeah. Yep. You are, I mean, it's the fucking world, like, especially in this country, it's like people don't even, like, the things Fox News and Fox News is easy to point at, but they're not the only ones. The, the things like, like these big media companies do now that, like, they would never have done, like, even in the 90s, say, like, because that fucking shit would have gotten them in trouble. And, like, guess what? Still happens. Yeah. Man, that's that's why the people who still do do it and dive into it and do it well are so fucking important, man. And that stuff's gonna be a problem. We have we have 
shit going on right now that's going to has the potential of just destroying this country, right? So. God damn it. I hate when it's so fucking close to. I mean, there's a lot of things in this country that shouldn't be for profit that are. Fucking prisons shouldn't be for profit. And guess what? Gun guess gun what's for profit it. in this fucking country? Prisons! Because guess what? These fucking media companies keep fucking buying uh, con uh, like politicians to make change things for them. So it's like even wars for profit in this country, man. So it's like, I don't know, man. It's all a lot of things need to change, man. I say the rich people are playing the most fucked up game of Jenga ever. And there aren't many blocks on the, the, the bottom anymore. Ooh. Yeah. Which is like, yeah. There you go, Blake. Yep. That's the kind of, that kind of stuff matters. It really does. And I just punted that guy in the dick. Oh, thanks, friend. Yeah, that's uh, that's my uh, logo, which is uh, it's the gizmo thing, which is kind of been my. It's all over the place. Like it's on the top of my Twitch page and everything like that. So yeah, it's uh, gizmo is everywhere. Gizmo is everywhere. Oh, you're fine, Robo. No worries, my friend. I don't expect it. I mean, I love lurkers. You lurk in here, and I appreciate you if you are. Okay, we're at 500. God damn, we only have 524 billion yen, and she's like, can't buy another business yet. Gizmo! Come here, Gizmo. You've been summoned. Gizmo? Oh, you're over there. He's sunbathing. What's up, little man? Are you sunbathing? You're already white. You're, you're like... You know, what do you think you're gonna do? You're gonna get like pink? You, you think you're gonna get pink? That's not how it works, Gizmo. He's a he's a little he's a little ham. If you follow my Twitter, there are videos of him throwing temper tantrums, and it's fucking hysterical. He's mad. So Gizmo's birthday is next week. He turns four. A week from today? What's today? No, a week from yesterday. So next Thursday is Gizmo's birthday. He turns four. My wife has bought him a bunch of presents, and he he smelled them and and started wanting them already. And he's been throwing uh, hissy fits this week because he wants his birthday presents already. And we're like, no, Gizmo, you can't have your friggin' birthday presents yet. She knew somebody would do it, uh, Saga. We doing white boy. My wife hates having a white dog, though, after Gizmo. We love Gizmo. Don't get us wrong. But she sees his, like, scratches and bruises he gets from playing. And she's like, ah, I don't like it. What are you doing, buddy? Mwah. He's a little ham. He's a little ham. He weighs 30 pounds now. Yeah, but he'll be four on Thursday. So we're going to... Thursday's stream is going to be a Gizmo birthday party. A Gizmo birthday party. I asked CK if she wanted to come over for a Gizmo birthday party. I don't think she's going to, though. Gizmo birthday party. Wee! Mwah. Happy birthday to Gizmo. Happy birthday. Yeah, Vissy hates Gizmo eating noises. Yep, exactly. So I, he... Gizmo as a he turns it into the, we call him the little incredible Hulk because he he when I mow the lawn he runs in it and then his his little legs are completely green. Look at his little toothy. Yep. Look at his little toothy sticking out. Look at his little toothy sticking out. You're very cute, Gizmo. You're very cute. You like are you giving me another treat, Daddy? No, not yet, Gizmo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Can I have gas? My little favorite spot to rub him is right between where his, like, his nose meets his forehead. There's a little divot there, and it is. And it's like you're rubbing the wrinkle on his nose, and yeah, it's so cute. Mwah. Gizmo, 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 gizmo. Mwah. Mwah. I love you, buddy. You're a handsome little boy. I can't believe you're going to be four on Thursday. I can't believe you're going to be four on Thursday. I can't believe you're going to be four on Thursday, man. And I think it's funny, uh, Gizmo's birthday is the day before Zeke's birthday. I can't wait till Zeke sees his birthday present. We made him. Okay, Gizmo. Go uh, go cause trouble, okay? Say bye to everyone. Bye! Go back to tanning or whatever you were doing, Gizmo. No spoilers, Robo. You have to wait till uh, Zeke opens it. <laughs> the only person I've told... Uh, Completely is uh, is CK. It's because I want everyone to be surprised at the same time, Robo. It is rude. But even if I gotta wrap it because I gotta give it to him on Monday when we go to uh, Meow Wolf. Yeah, but you're gonna have more fun if when he opens it, like outside of. Uh... No, I, he's not gonna open it till the stream, Vissy. I'm gonna. It's gonna be wrapped, and I'm gonna tell him to open it on stream on, on his birthday. Oh, uh, next Friday is Zeke's birthday, I think, is what it seems like. from the confirmations I could gather. Okay. It'll be, 